Hello and welcome back to New Week New Game. This is where I take a game from my Steam library or console or just kind of any area that I have games that I've never played before and play them. Today's game is post human war. I guess I should say this week's game because this is new game new week but it's post-human war this game that I received through a random bundle that I got clearly a very indie type game uh, it looked interesting I do like tactic turn-based type games and that's exactly what this is plays on a bit of a hex grid we're actually gonna go to the Steam store page so I can tell you more because I've never played the game and I can't really explain to you how this game plays it just looked like a little turn-based tactic game to me post human war is a turn-based tactical strategy game okay I was right set in an absurd post-apocalyptic world at the dawn of our third millennium, mankind went extinct. Mutated animals, household robots converted for warfare, and monkeys in tracksuits battle it out to decide the fate of the human heritage. The tags used in here are strategy, indie, turn-based, hex grid, and tactical. This game was released December 14th, 2017, and currently has a very positive review on Steam. Uh, it was developed by Studio Chathut and published by Dear Villagers. Uh, what are some games Dear Villagers have done? We may have played some here on the channel. But let's see, Caravan Sandwich, not familiar. Big Helmet Heroes, not familiar. Let me go through uh, the Forgotten City. We played a bit of that on New Year, New Game. Uh, we haven't played that one. Foretells, we have played that little strategy deck builder game. That was fun. We have not played Revita. At least I don't remember playing it. Oh, here we go. Scourge Bringer. I believe I played this game. Very difficult game <laughs> at least before my game sets uh soldiers we did play that for new year new game but yeah they've made games they have made good games decent games games that aren't uh, so bad so without further ado let's get in the game they used to have it to where you had to sign up and make a third party account. Hello there. She's Welcome your Steam account now. Game that is post -human war. Thank you, Before action figure. The point, which is knocking down enemies, let or me introduce after people. you to our current geopolitical situation. The yeah. year is 3053, and humans huh. went extinct 71 years ago. Ooh. When you put it like that, it does sound a bit sad. Yeah. But trust me, there's still plenty of fun to be had. Oh, good. You see, when they were around, mm. humans had taken refuge in enormous, fully automated cities. Nice. Nowadays, there are still a lot of robots working there, washing, mm. polishing, brushing, and cooking for, well, for nobody. Ah, oh, the waste. But in recent years, Mysterious creatures have regularly raided some cities mm. in order to destroy everything and just vandalize the public space. Oh. For the robots, the integrity of human heritage is no joke. Mm. In response, the household machines have organized and learned to defend themselves. How about Thus that? Thus were born the R-Patch, the robots of protection for the art and territories and cities of humanity. Oh, Instead man. Instead of getting reports of trespassing in New Rotterdam, they need a strategist to guide the defenders. Your move now. Ah, but there's gonna be more to that just brings us right into the game I guess this is the tutorial click on a unit to select it cool kicks click to move the unit to the highlighted tile Yum. click and drag the map to move the camera okay good move your units through the highlighted tile Move your units through the highlighted tile. Okay. Move and attack in the same turn within this area. Oops. You can move further, but cannot attack within this area. Got it. Well, I don't really see anything that we need to attack, so let's just keep 
Move in this way. Right click it. I am no machine. Dish hoax. So I guess this is a person who dispenses dishes. And now let's end our turn. It's the hooligans time to play. And there's the hooligans up here. We got bipolar. The polar bear. A bipolar polar bear. And uh, hooligans totem. So it looks like the hooligans just have one person. That's our totem, I take it. Old novice totem. See? Um, I think before I move you. No, no. Monsieur. Let's move Relax. you. Relax. I am no machine. Very good. Attack this destructible obstacle to pass through. Here you can find a unit's range. Its range is eight. It represents the distance it can attack. Displayed in tiles. Hover over the other values in this panel to learn what they stand for. So we got range, we got speed, we got defense, we got strength, and we've got its health. Value subtracted from strength of the attacking unit to decrease inflicted damage. See? All right, Cook, let's move you over here. Since you don't really Piece have... Piece of a cake. Piece of a cake. The hooligans turn two. Now it's our turn. I'm gonna start with you to attack. Boom, excellent. Destroy the opponent's army to win the game. Can I click on them and view their stats? Suffer to learn that yes, pigments do fly! Huh. There it is. 20 attack, 5 defense, only has 70 health. Can move 6 and has a range of 10. That's crazy. Yeah, so anything within the red, it can actually hit this guy. Ready to order? Uh, he can move, but he cannot attack. Oh, Wait, sure good. thing. Move you See? there. We're gonna move you they here. Must the seven. Go. Why is he attacking the bricks? Do you get something for attacking bricks? Not all obstacles are destructible. Most of the obstacles prevent range units from shooting through. Oh, okay, good. Monsieur. Uh, can you attack this? You cannot. You can, however, right up. move here and attack that. Very good. Roasted on a grill. Can't attack him. But he can get close enough to be ready for an attack next turn. Yum. And it prevents them, I think, for doing a ranged attack? I'm not sure. Yeah, you attack him. Meanwhile, I'll use my to dishes to attack you. We can't because that's in the way. Sure thing. But we can move here and then launch an attack. And then do that and launch an attack. And launch a second attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, launch a third. No, can't. You can flip them off, apparently. Alright, that's gonna be our turn. Oh, it's leaving. Monsieur. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, nope, that thing's in the way. Can I undo? Yes, I can. It would all still be in the way. Right. Can I interest you with our adorable? Can enter into the hooligans. Invasion. Ready to order? Coming right up. All right, hooligans turn. Roasted on a grill. Gonna have you finish him off. Ready to finish him. Bam. 
Pain. Hooligans champion is dead. Novice wasted hooligans. Woo! How do Next you like up. the taste of victory? Uh, but don't get too carried now. away. The invading army was only one guy. Ah. By the way, what on earth was this creature? Oh, well, didn't see it. Let me tell you about the Strons. Before going extinct, humanity wreaked havoc down here. They left huge mountain-sized landfills literally oozing chemical waste. In this unhealthy environment, the Strons were born. It was a new intelligent species, evolving rapidly thanks to radioactivity and the questionable shortcuts allowed by science fiction. Ah. The Strons have a small, feeble body, but they have the ability to control other animals as parasites. They can take over and mutate their host's body. Strons coexisted with the last humans. But since they were controlling rats and living in toxic waste dumps, they weren't that welcome. So they remained hidden, deep inside the landfills. When mankind met its end, they were finally able to leave and experience the wide world. Good thing they, they left signs. Out, they had a major disagreement and split in two factions, the Rax and the Anthropists. Rax are still angry about what humans inflicted upon them for decades, and now they can control bigger animals. They want revenge. Their goal is to destroy all cities and give the whole planet its wilderness state back. Rax mm. are fast, fierce, and very angry, and you will soon realize that, for they happen to need your skills to lead a cleansing mission. Come on, mountains of junk are waiting for you. Oh boy, mountains of junk. So now we get to be the Rax. So we get a 500 point army composition, and I guess we can pick from these to uh, make creatures. This is where you can pose your army before each battle. Engage your units for resource points by dragging and dropping the unit from the left panel onto the map. Okay. I need to punch something. <laughs> this unit in this slot is your champion. If it is destroyed, you lose the game. Your opponent will not know who your champion is, and you will not know who theirs is either. Choose your champion by dragging and dropping a unit in this slot. So we click and drag there, making them a um, champion. Carry on hiring units, then click on the validation button when you're ready. All right, let's see. Long range, I do think I should use some long range. Also a long range. Fragile flying type. And a robust. Well, let's get a couple long ranges. Yeah. Sure should get Peter's okay. Long range head, long range in the back. Uh let's get the flying fragile squirrel onto the field. Put them up front. Yes. Uh, another robust the sounds good. Uh, let's see if I do. I do a 60 and a 70. Since he's already a long range, maybe we'll do the flying fragile Let type. Let me catch my breath again. <laughs> and another one of these long range guys. Eh? All right, let's go. a lot of them oh some are already damaged here is your opponent's camp the champion is hiding amongst the units killing the enemy's champion will grant you immediate victory huh. this shows the unit's special ability which is flight this unit can fly over obstacles and enemy units, only ranged units, those with more than one range point, or other flying units, can hit it. Alright. For example, flying units can move through this type of terrain. Some terrains have special effects. This one slows your ground units down. However, your cursor... Oh, hover your cursor over terrain to display information about it. Hot corrosive pool, nasty withering terrain, 
If a unit is standing here, it will lose 30 hit points at the beginning of its turn. Flying units are not concerned. Destroy your opponent's army. I'm wondering if these guys did anything. Besides flying. This guy, what's you he got? Nothing. A range of... Range of 12, oof. Let me glide you. Let's move you. Okay. Let me catch my breath again. Down there. Huh. This button cancels your last move. This can prove useful. Cool. And you down there. Ready? Steady? Move you over here. Eh? And we'll move you sure, there. Mate. Yeah. And you. I need to punch something. You there. Did the bell ring? Yes, coach. Alright. Right click on the image display its stats in its range. It's a range three. The red area represents the unit's current attack range. The orange area represents the unit's potential attack range after a move. Destroy your opponent's army. All right. Eh? They cannot attack. But I can get them here. Yes, my dear. And then they can launch an attack. Sorry. Yeah. Go, go, Koala Catapult. Peter's okay. To the north. Ready, steady. My pullers in position. Oh, I guess he doesn't have any move left. I need to punch something. Uh, these guys have any range? No. Okay. Arm at the ready. Did the bell ring? Hit me up. Yes, coach. Are we there yet? Let me glide you. Ooh. Gonna hit from all the way back there. Should have checked that. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom out. Holy fish! Let's slip! Yes, my dear. I mean, they're gonna die at the start of the turn. So will that one. So will that one. If it's possible to hit him. Untouchable. Dodges projectiles. Okay, so that one can only be killed with a... Uh, melee. Is Everything you want. Here. This is a murder hole obstacle. Only range units next to it can shoot through it. Just can't quite shoot through that, apparently. 
so we'll shoot them right off. Yes, my dear. They can't really shoot. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Are we there yet? We're gonna use these guys as a distraction. Glide! Are we there yet? The greatest. Quick strides. Uh, let's go ahead and take out this guy. Left, right. The greatest. Yeah. Quick strides. And just because we can. Left, right. And again. Stay down. Yeah. Oh, and you hit me up. Bubble hook. Go again. There we go. Yeah. All right. Next turn. They're probably gonna take out one of ours, which is fine. Let them. Oh dear. Cool attack. Good shot. Ready? Steady. Propulsion. <laughs> oh dear. Can't attack that one, huh? Go yeah. through though. Yep. Apparently you can. Cool attack. Bam. Them go through. Hit me up. Uh, let's have them go through. Quick strides, the greatest. And them go through. Let me catch my breath again. <laughs> yes. All things must come to an end. Let me catch my breath again and glide you. Oh, he can move, he just can't attack again. I'll keep him where he's at. Chances are we're gonna lose that guy. You got some eucalyptus? Sorry. And down goes the orangutan. And that was their champion. I figured it was. Woo! We win! Exit. Now what was that bunch of crazy monkeys you just faced? As you may have guessed, it was but the other Strahd faction, the mm. Anthropists. Yeah, that's Remember, exactly what I thought. Strahd split in two clubs. Anthropists are the ones who decided they have better things to do than taking revenge. Enough with the adolescent crisis. Anthropists have decided to build their own civilization, picking up where humans left off. Why bother reinventing everything? The hosts they parasitize are mainly primates, and they recycle everything from humanity. Their culture, their cities, their clothes, and even their energy drinks. That's why they are now in open conflict with their Rack cousins, who regard playing humans as high treason. Racks are not cool with high treason. And of course, the R-Patch hunt down all parasites without distinction. In their view, whether your intention is to destroy the human cities or occupy them doesn't really matter. It is still forbidden. For prevention, robots venture far outside the cities to hit racks and anthropists where they are. Your last lesson, you guessed it, is to lead an anthropist unit cornered in the woods by an R-Patch army. I wish you good luck. Everyone is counting on you. This unit will be useful to you. Don't forget to drag and drop it onto the battlefield. Loaded. Ooh. Reminder, choose your champion. 
don't know if I should choose him as the, the champion. Robust type. Maybe the untouchable. Two long ranges, we got the fragile flying type. Untouchable can't be hit by ranged attacks. Let's get ourselves a Ronin nose out. Ready. Gonna need some long range. Little beetle. Gonna leave me with 40. So we are gonna be as under budget. I don't know if that would be a thing. But we're not gonna have enough once I put somebody else down. Let's do another. Dandayo? Melee. Select this unit. Some units have special abilities. This unit, for example, has an attack with an AoE area of effect. Meaning it can damage everything in a given area. Test it on these destructible obstacles. Order. Yes? This target is out of range. Okay. And now we can attack it. Bob's away! We did quite a bit of damage to it. Didn't take it out, but we did a bit quite a bit of damage to it. We've only got three. Indestructible. Your wisdom, my blades. Nandayo? Hmm? So be it. Ugly and ready. Go, Ninja, go. <laughs> Oh, they have units back there. It take them a while. Size matters. Coming through. On the battlefield, you can sometimes find chests containing resources. Move one of your units onto this tile with the chest to recover its contents. Ready! On the nose! Non-ranged unit. Using your resource supply, you can activate resource power. Oh, resource powers. Some of these powers can reinforce the unit stats. Steroid aid at 10 attack for the next attack. Fulcan provides vitality and strength to make the muscles more powerful in a blink. Drink Vulcan. Others can allow you to create various obstacles depending on the chosen unit. Walls of cans create a full obstacle with 40 health or reinforce an existing obstacle by 40 health on a tile adjacent to the unit. Everything is useful in Vulcan. The empty cans correctly stacked can be built into perfect little bulk work to protect you on the battlefield. Stack Vulcan. Those values represent the resources, supplies of each player in the game. 
increase the strength of your unit to destroy your opponent's totem. Okay. Maybe my unit's got to get over there first. Oh, I guess I have to actually... Now we must destroy that. Sama. Are these guys range ones, I take it? Your wisdom. My blades. Bouncing there. I listen. I have no hatred for you. What, what? Nobody's perfect. And did my turn. Hmm, the melee guy to attack there. Uh, during your turn, you can decide to reveal your champion to your opponent for the rest of the game. In return, its stats will receive a significant boost, but keep in mind that it'll become a prime target. So I guess we have to hit it. Hell yeah! <laughs> now the Sunvilles, their champion, untouchable mithril. Size matters! How strong is this thing anyway? Do 30 damage to it? Try not to hit. Anyone else? Move that monkey back to deal with it. Hurry up! I listen. For a large nine, nine, nine. Oh, it doesn't have enough. And I can only do the last movement. Huh. Demon Slash. Summer. If you really need more resources, you can recycle your units during the game. The unit will be destroyed, and you will earn some of its hiring cost back. Cool, don't want to do that. Thought at first it was going to make me do that. Invasions! Having your units inside your opponent's camp will also increase their strength. Cool. Demon Slash. Ooh, take that out. Get it out of here. Ha! Huh. Can you move or do anything else? Nandayo? Oh. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> yes? They have a range, yeah? Don't want to be so close to this, though. So move me here. Sama. Shling. And there's nothing really Your wisdom. you can do. My blades. Yeah, we're good. It's really focusing on taking out my range unit. me 
So be it. So that way he's out of the attack no range. Boom. Then I can do this. Sorry, not sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't hurt me. Silence. Nandayo? <laughs> On my way. Destroy. Demon slash. Booyah. We took out the totem. Their units will lose 15 health each turn. When a totem is destroyed, the units in its army start losing health every turn. Protect yours in addition to your champion. Pass several turns in a row to see the results. Well, we still have these guys. I, I don't want to pass several turns exactly. Sama. Yes. All right, it. A large gun for a large hunt. What, what? You call that clean? Oh, okay, he's got to go one further. Sama, on my oh, way. Oh, oh, oh. Shling. There we go. All right, now we can end our turn. And again. Woo! Novice massacred oppressors. Very good. We did the tutorial. We finished it and I earned an achievement. Congratulations, you completed the tutorial. You are now ready to face other players in post-human war main mode conquest. There you can get territories to go up in rankings and post coins to spend in the shop. While you're waiting to be matched against an opponent, you can explore other game modes. Any game interrupted by a conquest can be resumed later. Enjoy the fight. Cool. Tutorials, we got that. You can access the conquest mode via the global conquest menu or quickly with this button available in every local game mode. If you use it when you're already in a game, the game will be saved and can be resumed later. While waiting for opponents, experience each faction's epic campaign here. Or play solo in hot seat against a friend or artificial intelligence. Oh, an artificial intelligence can be my friend. To learn more about our universe and its advanced game mechanics, Click here. That's the codex. I would be curious to wonder if there are actually um, other people playing this game. But I believe we have met our time. Yes, we've actually gone over our time. It's 39 minutes already. So uh, that's the end. I mean, perfect timing to end it. We finished the tutorial. Uh, Global Conquest is their multiplayer mode where you can be matched against other players. I would be surprised if there's a lot of people, I should say. Not that there's going to be, because there always seems to be like diehard fans when it comes to games. And whether it be a small indie game or a big AAA game, you will always find yourself a diehard fan that really likes the game. Uh, campaign mode, I always do love a good story and the the whole basic story to post-human war, I like. Humans go away, the robots that were left to take care of them are still there. All of a sudden, mutated animals start coming in and destroying the place because of their way they were treated when uh, humans were around and somewhat revenge. Now they're destroying the city and the robots don't like that, so they're taking their revenge. And then you got the other group who's like, ah, 
I don't care about the humans or anything like this and have their own motives about the things that they're doing and getting into conflict with the other two factions. Sounds great. Enjoy it. Would love to come back and figure out more about their campaign and the story and things like that. Would I play this game again? Absolutely. It doesn't have uh, the most up-to-date graphics or it seems like the voice actor is just one person doing different things, which is fine. I'm one person who does multiple voices and they sound just as, you know, about the same every time that I do them. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. I had a fun time. They have a store apparently where you can purchase things too. Uh, I guess that's what these little coins here are for. You can go to the shop and it looks like you can get avatars, you can get colors, you can get skins. Oh, cool. Skins for the little guys you fight. That's awesome. Okay, I like that they did something like that. Uh, parley, whatever that is. I guess emotes is what it looks like. Uh, but yeah. Wonderful, wonderful times. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Oh, actually, before I go, uh, if this is a game that you would like to see a series of, please leave a comment down below and then like, subscribe. I need to do that more when I'm ending the video. I don't do it enough because it's just like, I mean, I feel like I have to tell you to like, subscribe or comment because you'll do that if you want to. I don't need me to give you permission to do these things. You're welcome to do so. If I don't like your comment, I'll remove it. We shouldn't have that understanding. If you dislike my video, that's fine. I don't care. If you like the video, thank you very much. If you share it with friends and family, make sure it's someone you hate. They're gonna absolutely not like this video. I'm just kidding. They'll probably love me. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.